Hey everyone, it's Rose Wildsmith here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to show you my teeny tiny little travel art kit. It started with this, which is actually an old mince tin. I actually put this sticker of the bird over the top and it was just the perfect size. And you press down on the lid and it pops open like that. And you can just about fit three half pans in there. These are all by Core, and they're from the High Chroma set. This is Cobalt Teal, Quinacridone Magenta, and Transparent Pyrrole Orange. I've actually ordered some more of the Core watercolours, so I think I might swap this out for yellow when my new set arrives, because that's my favourite primary triad. You could mix quite a lot of colours from that. I guess you could mix in the lid, and then you press the sides together, and it pops back. And then I remembered that I have this art graph tin. They go so well together. This one has water-soluble graphite. You can use it as a black, you can use it as a grey or as a neutral tint. I haven't actually tried mixing it with the watercolours yet, so we'll see how it goes, whether that works or not. To go with those, I have a water brush. And I always take this, this is my favourite kind of pen, Uniball I Micro. It's um, waterproof, so I can go over the top with the watercolours. And then I remembered that I've had this tiny, tiny little sketchbook. This is a Hahnemuller zigzag concertina style sketchbook. When you put all of these, oops, when you put all of these together, it sort of just fits in the palm of your hand, so you could have it in your pocket or in your handbag. Really, really portable. So what I'm going to do is take this out and about and test it and see how it works in real life. So come along on the journey with me. back. That was fun exploration and adventure. One of the things I noticed was that this brush pen was quite big and I found that it was a bit too big for such a tiny sketchbook. I actually found working in such a small sketchbook a bit of a problem actually I have to say. Um, you can see here that I struggled to control things on this small paper and I was doing it outside while I was trying to film myself and everything so but I think in the future I would swap this for a smaller tipped brush pen. You can see that you could probably get a lot more control with something this size rather than something this size. But maybe you can even get smaller ones than this, I don't know. So I'll swap out the brush pen. And then I wasn't sure how it would work mixing the watercolour with the art graph. So I started to do some little experiments while I was out and about. And I found that it was actually quite nice and you get these sort of muted tones um, that work quite nicely and it encourages granulation of the watercolour. I found working with the pen alone was absolutely fine and it was quite nice actually working in this tiny sketchbook. But overall I think if I was going to go out and do anything more than just using a pen I would want to have a slightly bigger sketchbook. So I'm just going to go and get an example. So this is an old sketchbook of mine that I used to take as my travelling around sketchbook. It's quite a bit bigger, but it's still really small. I mean, it does then take away from the fact that you can fit this all in the palm of your hand. <laughs> but I think I could probably still fit this in most of my pockets. Taking such a small one, it was kind of funny and kind of sweet and cute, but, I, but really 
I mean, not very practical. So I think I'd probably take one this size instead. So we have changed the brush pen, changed the sketchbook. Now I did actually swap one of the paints. I've put the yellow in and I actually did some swatching first of all to see what kind of colours I could get by just using these three as my primary triad and you can see you get some really beautiful colours I love the greens that it makes mixing the teal and the yellow and then with the teal and magenta I really like these kind of plum purpley plum colours and then because you've got a cool yellow and a cool red here the oranges that you get are a little bit desaturated uh, but you get this really lovely tomato red colour and I really like this kind of orange actually so I think that's a good mix of colours that you can get and then I tried mixing the art graph in so you can see that there's quite a bit of granulation where you mix the two together and it's funny actually when you're mixing it in the water mixing well the art graph kind of runs away from the watercolour so it's almost like they're not wanting to mix together so that's why you get these textures i really like it actually this was a very small place to mix <laughs> i also found that i was having to push water through the water brush to try and wash it off and then my colors were getting really muddy so i think i would make one addition to this which would be a piece of kitchen paper or tissue just to help clean off the brush in between the using the different colors so there you have it this is my teeny tiny art palette I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you found it inspiring what do you think about this very very small art palette would you take something like this with you is it a bit too small perhaps uh, let me know in the comments and I look forward to seeing you on the next video until then bye bye dewey.zines